Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Mickey Mouse telephone. It's in the original style and we only have the base unit and the handset and this is Tom's equipment from California and so we've troubleshooted this telephone a little bit and basically what happened was this telephone base was sent in by another company uh, Tom had sent the base in to another telephone repair company and they sent it directly to us and then we had some contact with Tom and we needed the handset and so he's got a note here he says per your request uh, I'm shipping the handset uh, he says cord and cord so he meant the uh, red line cord evidently and because he has his own handset cord at his location and I like to have everything that they're using with a telephone so it would have been nice to have the handset cord but he has that cord and this is another cord and for from the shop and so he says however when I unscrewed the covers to the mouthpiece and earpiece I discovered the green wire had broken or was cut uh, at some time now I don't know if that happened when he unscrewed the receiver capsule and it just fell apart as you can see the green wire is broke there we want to remove the cap here and so that's been broken I'm not sure that was the original problem because or it was the original problem and then they started uh, trying to get the telephone to work by doing other things like pull on the handset cord because we have multiple problems here the first problem that we're going to take care of is I'm going to go ahead and try to ring the telephone so we want to hold the hook switch down I'm hooked into the analyzer and I'm going to ring it every time you see that red light on the analyzer that's a ring cycle that goes by I'm going to let it go one more time lift up the hook switch we're not getting any uh, power to the telephone at all so we're going to stop our ring cycle so it wouldn't matter if the handset uh, had damage because it does not need the handset to activate the base so we're going to go ahead and take care of this issue here with the handset and we'll go ahead and do that now I want to strip the wire back a little Now what we want to do is remove our spade connector. So that's been removed. We're going to install a new spade connector. that ready here we're going to crimp that into place that's been taken care of that's secure we want to go ahead and secure that on the block we'll check our other one here Put the handset back together again. 
Now we're going to try the same thing. We're going to go ahead and try to ring the telephone again. And as you can see, it's not activating the analyzer. There's other issues. So now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw the old spade connector away. We don't need that. It's of no use to us. We're going to stop our ring cycle. Now what we want to do is take a look. And you may be able to see this on the video, maybe not. I have a magnifying glass where our line cord runs into the back of Mickey's base. We have some issues here on the board. I have some other solder that I've already taken care of, but I left this, these points unsoldered because I wanted to show you the pins are loose at the solder connections. So our connections need to be resoldered. So we're going to go ahead and I want to scrape them down. I want to clean them up. that all clean. Now we want to clean them. I'm going to move that down a little bit. We want to clean our soldering gun. Then we want to resolder them, and I wanted to save them to show you because we've already touched up this board in other areas where I didn't like the solder. I want to take a look at that. Now on these solder points here, uh, I cleaned them off so we could get a little more of the solder trace involved in the solder because I don't want that to come out again. Basically what we have is if you pull on this, and that may have been what happened, uh, you know, if the receiver broke and there was no receive, you know, somebody might equate this line cord in this area with uh, the problem, and that might have been why our modular port where it solders to the PC board got loose and the connections uh, no, were, were no longer soldered. So what we want to do now, like I said earlier, there's multiple problems here. So we're going to go ahead and try that again. Uh, it should have already activated the analyzer because we're plugged in and I can go ahead and ring even the unit and now our analyzer is ringing and even with the hook switch up or down we still get no ring cycle so we don't have any power to this unit we're gonna stop the ring cycle on the analyzer we have another issue and that's this line cord so this line cord could have been kicked. It's pretty long. It could have been pulled at this connection here and that's what caused the solder issues. And one end or both or the whole line cord 
is bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug into this analyzer and check this cord. Now, since we have uh, four conductors, both of these red lights should light. And the only light that we're really concerned with on a line cord is this light to the left. So we're going to go ahead and plug in. And as you can see, the right light's lit, but the left light is not. We're going to take a known good two conductor cord. The only two conductors that we're concerned with, we're going to plug one side in, and this light on the left is the one we're concerned with, and it lit. So we know that this cord has an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take a pick at this point, and I'm going to try this in first. So what we want to do, we want to cut the old modular port off, plug. We want to strip back the wire. Install our new plug. Crimp it. So we want to change the one we did not change yet. Okay, we're back now, and I took a little short break there because I wanted to make sure now that we have our ends on our line cord that the line cord was not damaged. So we took it apart and looked it over and made sure that the line cord was okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and plug into our analyzer like we were working on earlier, and we want to see our red light on the left side here and both of our lights are lit. And this is a four conductor line. So now we know both of our conductors on both sides are working, all four conductors. But we're only really concerned with this left to light. And so now we know that that's not an issue any longer and the repair of the line cord has been made. So we want to go ahead and plug into our switch box. We want to plug into our telephone. And as you can see, it seized the analyzer. Another issue, we want to pull this line cord here for a second. Another issue is we talked to Tom while we were taking a break and working on the telephone. And he remembered the handset cord is being red. And most of the handset cords that you will see on Mickey and Snoopy and some of the uh, telephones like this will be white and they may have put out a red uh, cord once in a while on them and since this is a an original style but a little newer version it's very possible it could have been red and since the line cords red we went ahead and went with a red handset cord for him he only wanted about six foot length but we gave him more and uh, it's better to have a little more and that's a new cord so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hold our hook switch down, plug our unit in, and we'll ring the unit. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. Go ahead and give you some dial tone.
Now we want to go through our numbers. We want to dial our numbers out. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We want to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has receive and transmit. Now what we can do is we can push the switch box button and that will give us a line out and totally take the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and do that. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. Shop St. Clair Auto Mall. Four new car lines and three huge pre-owned stores. Highway 50 O'Fallon or online at Offenberg.com. Today is Tuesday, February 4th. The time is 1046. Current temperature 31 degrees. A chance of snow today. Accumulations around 3 inches. Highs around 30. Cloudy tonight. Snow likely with a chance of freezing drizzle. Accumulations of 1 to 2 inches. Total snow accumulation 4 to 5 inches. No ice accumulation is expected. Lows around 20. Cloudy on Wednesday. Highs in the mid 20 Okay, we can make one other call. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We can go ahead and unplug the unit. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Tom and he can start enjoying this Mickey Mouse telephone once again. They're very sought after. They're in the original style of the original Mickey and Snoopy. They had the red base and then when the body goes on they had wood grain and red where the keypad was at. And they usually had a yellow or white handset depending on how the unit was put out from the factory. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.